Hey guys, it's Deadly Crescent, and welcome back to Tales of Exilia. Last episode, we yeah we, sa uh, we saved Klein. Yes, we did. Yeah, okay, we saved Klein. So all that happened, and we did a boss battle against a really pretty boss. So um, I'm also sorry. Uh, I forgot to turn off notifications. So if you see people coming online, that's why. But yeah, I. I I would have to leave game to fix that, and what I'm planning to do, I can't really do that right now, so. But before, um, before I move on with the story here and talk to Klein, I have a little scene to show you guys. I was looking around to see if there are any, like, side quest scenes and stuff like that. So I managed to find one in Hamil. So I will show you guys this one right now, so I hope you guys enjoy it. It's a little funny, I guess. If, if you consider it funny, then it's a little bit funny. But yeah, so enjoy it. Here it is. So this is where they kept you, huh? How long were you in here? Um, I'm not sure. Really long, or kind of short. Uh, it was a blur. What would have happened to you if we hadn't come along? The big man always used to say that I should try and get along with the villagers. So that maybe I could live here one day. I'm sure he meant well by that. But you can't just ask a kid to live alone in some strange town. There sure are a lot of barrels here. Don't drink from those! They're full of strange juice that makes you dizzy. This is poor inch wine. It's a type of liquor that glows in the dark. The longer it ferments, the mellower the taste and glow. After ten years, it'll shimmer like the moon. That's why they call the top shelf version Moonlight. You sure know a lot about it. Naturally. Hmm. This flavor certainly is deep and rich. This may be one of the best things I've had. Hey, that's stealing. Don't worry. Something like this won't faze me. Oh, nothing bad's gonna. Oh! oh! But it just did. I just said it makes you dizzy. It went straight to her legs. I never would have guessed that was Maxwell's weakness. Okay, guys. So I hope you guys liked that little scene. So that was it. There were no like actual side quests for me to do in Hamil or I even tracked Nia Kara. Um, I can't. So, like, this just shows all the places I can go. So, I didn't check Mila's shrine, but there's no one there. So, I didn't really see the point of doing that. I obviously can't go to Fenmont. So, yeah. And uh, the Sea Havens, I probably should have checked those. Um, I'll probably check those before next episode. Before, well, yeah, I could I could check them right now. Um, I kind of want to check to make sure if there are any side quests or anything. But I think I'm just going to advance with the story for right now. And, yeah, so let's talk to Klein here. I still haven't heard from my people at Fort Gondala. I imagine you're growing impatient. Would you like me to dispatch Rowan to check on the preparations? So we can send Rowan or not send Rowan. Um, don't really... I can't... I don't know what not sending Rowan does. I also have to turn up my volume here because I can barely hear it on my TV. Don't know why it's so low, but whatever. Let's send Rowan. Very well. I will send him at once. I'm counting on you, Rowan. I will not let you down. How long until you return? Let's see. It should take me no less than a day to get to and from on horseback. Oh. I suppose that means we'll have to bid farewell to our new friends tomorrow. Looks that way, if everything's on track. That settles it. Today, Ellie, Mila, and I are going shopping. Shopping? For real? Hooray! Time's a-wasting. Let's go! Wait, where are we going? I promised to take Ellie shopping, silly. 
If you're leaving tomorrow, today's our only chance. Ah, uh, very well. You two carry on with your consumerism. Everyone, to the shops! To the, to shops! the shops! Wait, put me down. I have no need for trinkets. It's not gonna kill you to tag along. Yeah, you might actually enjoy acting like a human girl for once. A human girl? Strictly speaking, the concept of gender does not apply to me. I merely took the form of a woman upon manifesting in this room. Lots of scenes. I can no longer obey the king. He uses his own people as pawns. It's time to stand against these tyrants. It's the only way to protect this precious piece of ours. Are you going to rebel? Is there going to be a war? I'm certain Noctigal has consolidated his power for an invasion on Azul. He has already shown that he's willing to sacrifice his own people to satisfy his ambition. If he isn't stopped, countless lives in Roshigal and Azul will be lost all for naught. I am the governor, and protecting the people who live here is something that I must do. That's not easy. You're right, but I'm responsible. Now, will you lend me your aid? But... well, I... Deposing Noctigal is in everyone's best interest. We must unite for this cause. This arrow is... Oh, no, Jude! Please, you mustn't give up now. Rowan, you can't expect miracles. We know that the wound is mortal. It's up to you to look after the country now. But I know that I'm not up to the task. It's impossible. You of all people can do it. I know that you can. <sighs> Master, no! Don't go! <laughs> Lord Klein! <gasps> Please continue with your report. Yes, sir. The Roshigal army has invaded the town. Our troops are engaged throughout the city. Things just went from bad to worse. Mila and the others are out there. Very well. We must protect Lady Dracel at all costs. Master, please forgive me for having to leave your side. We must defend the manor. Yes, sir. Let's go! See, it's only a part of that was a dude only scene. Like, um, the, the very beginning of it wasn't. Um, so yeah, this is where shit starts happening. And this is probably one of the places that I freaked out the most when playing this. Because I love Klein, as you can see. And I really, really was fucking angry. So we just have the party of guys with us, so... We're playing as Jude again. We have to go save Mila, who is out there with Drizzle or Lady Drizzle, and another scene. Look, 
Lady Gersel! Let's clear out these goons. No, it will take too long and waste our energy. Stand down this instant! What point is there in fighting after you've completed your mission? Or are you mere savages who take delight in the suffering of your countrymen? Let us return to the manor. Right. Everything okay? Yes, I have made arrangements for Lord Klein's funeral, although the ceremony will be brief. How could this have happened? The arrow that took my master's life was of a unique design, one used only by Noctagall's personal guard. And considering the timing of the army's invasion, it's obvious this was all a plot by Noctagall. The assassination allowed him to seize complete control of Roshagal. Noctagal does think big. I wonder where they took Mila and the others. Fort Gandala, most likely. A single division of troops couldn't possibly attack multiple cities in a short time. It's reasonable to assume that Sapstrath Seahaven remained safe and under Cheryl control. Thus, our attackers must have been ordered to return to Fenmont. And Fort Gandala is the only place equipped to house troops between here and there. Good thinking. Makes sense to me. We have to save them! I like your moxie, kid, but we're talking about a fortress here. It's not like we can storm the walls. On the contrary, we do need to rush. Tonight may be our only chance. The morale among those troops was visibly low, and now they've been forced to march home after battle with no rest. They'll be at their weakest. And don't forget we have a trump card ready and waiting. That's right! The men we sent to infiltrate the fortress! We should depart at once. A butler, huh? Who is this old man exactly? Oh, Alvin. Alright. Oh, nope, there's a skip first. I can't believe they got Mila. Are you so surprised? These are the same thugs who snared the four great spirits. And I let the same thing happen again. Let's get moving, gentlemen. We can't afford to suffer any more losses. Aren't you listening? These guys are way out of our league. Don't be ridiculous. They haven't a chance. Especially against a warrior of your considerable talent. Hmm? Didn't take you for the sort that props up comrades with sweet talk. That depends on the comrade. Does it seem to be working? A nice effort, but uh, I only fall for flattery when it comes from the lips of a lady. Then let's go save Mila and the others. I'm sure they'll praise you. Oh yeah? Well then, I guess I'll put out a little effort. No, oh, Rowan, he's such a flatterer. But Rowan's fantastic. These, everybody in here just doesn't seem to care. Um... Yeah, I believe it's this way that we have to go to... Yeah, it's this way. That sounded funny. Like, I I, I, I heard myself say it, because obviously you hear yourself when you, you talk, but <laughs> that just sounded like I said it really weird. So yeah, we gotta go this direction here. And so we'll, we're back to the third party, and when... I can't talk. Man, it's such a desert. I'm gonna get this chest here before starting to fight them all. Um, I don't... Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Discard. So, we're all at level 23. 
Uh, let's see how this looks. Okay, so come here, you. They're all deserty looking and reminds me of scarecrows. Uh, okay. Oh, well, I actually didn't mean to do that. I should have probably switched back to Jude a bit ago just because I haven't played as him for a while. I also need to change up his art because, um, yeah, I need to look. So I'm going to get rid of Demon Fist for, wait, some Soaring Vorkitex. Um, well, let's see here. Sunspark, I kind of want that one. Uh, I'll put... Hmm. I'm gonna need Recovery Ring for sure, because I don't have a lease. So I'm gonna need that. Uh, and what else? I don't want to use Steel, so I think I'll use Swallow Dance? Uh, yeah, that, look, that looks good. Alright. Let's get this going then. Um, they're linked, so I don't really mind that. I'll just stay unlinked for right now. Um, let's see. God damn it. Yeah, I should have probably gone back to Jude, because I knew this was coming, so... I should have switched back earlier. Where the fuck are they? Come here, Alvin, come here. You're supposed to be like, where the fuck are you? You better have taken out all the other ones if he wasn't nowhere near me, so... Uh, I don't think I have him set to even attacking the same one as me, but I didn't know where he was at all. Okay, okay. Okay. I need to heal myself. There we go. Anyway, so I really hate not having Elise in the party at all because, yeah, she's the main healer and I don't want Jude to be a seat. I mean, I could play as Rowan. I don't really mind playing as a caster. I'm not playing as Alvin, though. I've already mentioned that, and I've tried. But I'm definitely not playing as Alvin. I s yeah, I suppose I could try and play as Rowan. But I would much prefer to be as Jude right now. This is tough. So. I don't know which martial arts to use. You simply have to hmm. experiment with them all. It's the only way to find the ones that suit your style. I agree with that. Everyone likes different arts. I will take care of this. It's not working. Like, I like Mila's arts a lot more than I like Jude's. But that might just be... Uh, I don't know. Mila's easier to fight with. And she has a sword. I don't really like the punching all that much. So. Let's do this. Fighting the only answer? Fighting is only the ever... I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. I really don't. Um, Here, let's fight this thing. And then I'm definitely going to try and do off-screen off -screen leveling here. I know I haven't done a lot of it whenever I say I'm going to. I just never seem to be doing a lot. Where are you, Rowan? Come, come here. Come here. I'm gonna heal you. Okay, switch back with Alvin. That way Rowan can focus on his casting. That is very rude. Why, I am attacking you. You do not hit me. I kind of wish I was getting more EXP right now. But I'm not. So that really sucks, because I want more EXP. Hello there. I didn't notice you. I don't think I actually even got this thing. So I think I'll fight this one more enemy and then... Um, I know I haven't gone far at all in this area, so I might at least advance forward to the next area before I end things off. So I don't really know the exact time of this video because of putting in that scene. So I really don't know when it will happen. Hello there, skeleton thingy. I kind of like these, um, skeleton enemies. I don't know, they're pretty neat. Like you saw, his head pops off, so I really kind of think they're just interesting. I don't know, I also really like skeletons, because I love Halloween. Um, so, like, my favorite thing is to heal. Hello, Rowan, you. That is not heal. There we go. I was not paying attention to Rowan at all. I didn't see he had a status infliction. So that's my bad. 
but whatever. I'll try and advance forward at least a little bit, but we got a lot of scenes done too, so let's see here. Is there any, um, yeah, let's go in here real quick. Nope, 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 nope. Go, go, no. There we go. That was a complete fail. Dark spaces always get me a little spooked. I don't know why you get spooked, Jude. You are awesome. Don't get spooked. There's also up there I need to look at, but that's not really where we need to go right now. So, um, I might check that out myself later. Because it's probably the area that has the Ice Reach treasure, just because there's not, you know, trees really here. So, yeah, I don't really remember this area at all, surprisingly. I really don't. Okay, so how are we? So there's Fort Gandala. So I think I'm going to end this episode off right here. And next episode we can take on Fort Gandala. And save Mila, Elise, and Lady Drizzle. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this episode. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!